<laughs> hey people, this is Broken Puppet, and this is how to draw an old school gentleman face front on. Enjoy. Right, people, how to draw an old school gentleman from you. I you know you guys have been wanting this one for a while, so here it is. Get your pencil. Get yourself a circle. Like so. Bring some lines down from the side. Come down just a little bit further than this. From here. Curve in a line. Curve in a line. And then like a little straight one at the bottom. If you struggle getting these right, just do your little straight one and then work off the side. Try to get this about even. The more even you get, the more symmetric it'll be. And then just divide this in half. And remember, it's not halfway through the circle, it's halfway through this to here, so roughly about there. That's where you want it. So now we've got all that. Can put a nose now. Where this line comes through here, this is roughly going to be where your mouth is. So just sketch a little line here, little line above, little line below, just to get your high point and low point in the mouth. From this bit, just bring up a little bit, about a bit wider than the mouth. So if you imagine like you know the distance between this lip and this lip, about one, two or one and a half. So roughly about there. That's where you want your nose roughly to start. Say about one and a half, I think two would be too far. Yeah, one, that'd be way too hard, way too far. One, yeah, between one and one and a half. And once you've got that point, just start from this side, just make a little curve, dip in the centre, downwards, and curve out a little bit on that other side again. So, dip, dip, up, curve. And now from this, Make a long sausage shape coming up. Pass this halfway line, roughly about there. Off the sides of this, great curves going up into that sausage. Now ignore what this kind of looks like and what it can look like if you're. Yeah, trust me, it will look like a nose. Right. Just sketching two rough oval shapes on this line, on the top of the line. You know, so where this goes, the bottom bit touches this line. You want it fairly close to this, you know, nose, but you don't but you don't want too much of a gap. So leave about that sort of size gap and get about even on both sides. If you get even on one side, the eye's gonna look really kind of weird. On top of that, just do like a little rectangular shape. You know, going from where roughly about the eye starts, so roughly about there, across, and just before you get to the end of it, just curve down around. And you can make this slightly curved, like I've done there. Just starting roughly at that beginning, curve up, and before you get to the edge, curve around. Little arch just there. And now just where you made these curves in the eyebrows, like that. this just gives you an idea of where the skull bends. You know, you've got four heads and then it's gonna bend back here. You know, you're not gonna to be too much here unless you want to put shade, but it's just giving you an idea of the structure of how the head works. So that's where the nose is gonna go, the eye is gonna go, the mouth's gonna go. Now underneath this line here, make a nice curve. Not quite as long as the mouth, but fair sort of like you know curve to it. And on the sides, where this line comes through, roughly where about this eye comes out here, is where you want the tip of your ear. So we're just gonna put in two circle shapes for now for now. One there. One there. 
and about there. So you can see this face structure, face structure starting to come together now. Now from this hip, we're going to bring this line up, coming a little bit outside the circle, just curving inwards. And once we get here, going to dip just around here. We're going to bring this up a bit. And once we get to about here, we want this to cut in a touch. Not too dramatically, but it just shows the way the uh, hairline goes. Just going to go up to there. And then from here, I'm going to have the old fashioned kind of brush back. So we're going to bring this line around here. Roughly to where that center point was, and a slight arch coming out that way, and about the same sort of distance, so roughly about here. We bring this line down, bring this back, down to the air. And we're going to bring this up and curve around here. Curve this all the way around, coming down over there. Like so. Now we'll be more detail once you start doing those kind of lines to sort of shape it off. But at the minute I'm just bringing in the shape. That's all I'm really worried about. Because if you ain't got the shape right, your picture's not going to look right. Bring this line down here. This line here. Before I forget. Just put this on charge for it dies. There we go. Now we'll see if I did hold the M1. So just bring it down that line. Coming roughly from here, we know where the uh, jaw bit is here. You know, if you want to see a bit more slimmer, start it here. If you want to see a bit more muscular, bring it out there. You know, use the width of the neck to determine how, you know, his physique is. Because you're not going to see much of the rest of his body, so that's the only hint you're going to get. Bring a straight line coming down at an angle. Going the other way too. Bring in a little V-shape just here. When you get to the bottom, just curve this out. You can bring it to a point, I'm going to curve this one. So it's got like a curve collar. Bring that one out that way. Let's get it a bit more even. Just bit on it even. It's always important to keep looking at your picture because if it's uneven, you're going to notice it. But only if you take a second to stop and have a proper look. Bring this little box shape just to the bottom. That's where his tie is going to be. Two little lines just there. We'll have we'll more detail to this afterwards. And then we're going to bring this V-shape, curving, like so. Two lines out there, just like his vest. Normally it would come down longer, but because we're not doing the whole body, I don't want to go any further. Bring that line down there, just where the top part will be. And then his blazer will come up here, up here. Bring this line out, line in. So we're going to bring it curve down, line in. This line's going to go out a bit further than this bit. And we're going to curve this inwards. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Bring it down, line in, line out, line down. And when she goes to in, just correct it. I can see this bit goes in a bit sharper than what this does, so bring that bit in a touch. That line in touch. You can see why putting, plotting in your line work is very important at this stage. Just plot in a shape. It's so going to bring a little line here, just give it a hint of shoulder. I'm not going to bring it all the way out. Just to give a little hint. No, you can have them like, you know, any kind of facial hair you want. You know, really old school gentleman, just give them like a, a nice moustache. They can have them really curly. This one, I'm not, not going to make this too curly. 
I generally prefer a slightly simpler one, just where it's got a slight curl just to the edge. So you're going to bring in curve here, come down, out a little bit, bring this in, and circle it off, like so. Okay, and just do the exact same thing the other side. Leave a little gap in the middle if you want. Just bring that out, curl that back, up and around. Like I said, you can go more crazy, you can have it sort of curving up around if you want. So, another eyes. I'm going to cut a little line just coming across this eye bit, just this little top corner shelf, just here, a bit there. Now, starting with this corner, I'm going to bring this line down, like a little point, curve it around to about here. And then this overlap is going to go over the top, and then this line is going to carry on again under this curve, coming here. Now what I want is just to go just a little bit over, not too major, just a little bit. Little curve just there in that corner, and get your circle in the middle of the pupil. Now underneath it, just here, I'm going to bring a little curve, coming around this corner bit, coming down the touch, and just curving out. There's going to be a bit of dark shade just there. It's going to do the exact same on the other side. Bring that line down and around. Get up into that under curve. Bring that around and just out a little bit. Now we got that, I'm going to grab a bit of Sharpie. Yeah, I think I'll do a Sharpie because it's quite big. Now it's going to go with some of the working pen. Nothing too crazy. The little nose. Little curve outs. Moustache and a mouth. While we've done that straight line, I'm going to bring a little curve just like that at the edge. Bring this in, up, down, up, down, back, and down. Just so it's got a bit of shape to it. The bottom lip, it's going to bring a little curve, curve up a touch at the centre, very, very slight, though, nothing major, and curve back at the other end. Top lip. Can bring this up, get this across, and down to the corner. Chin line. And that's going to do the eyes. So you see, he's got a little overlap, just cover out the outside a little bit. Come to the points, I'm just going to slightly curve them out so they're not perfectly straight. But I don't want to curve them too much because I do want to see that definition change between this, 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 and this. I'm going to bring that hair up, and when I get to the inside of it, there, just flicking those lines just like that, just little flicks. Bring that line there. Now I want to have a clear gap between these two bits. Uh, all the way around. Bring that up. 
flick, 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 flick. Just two line bits there. Now we're going to bring in the ears. Now the ear side, I'm going to do the inside first, so I'm going to do a curve, like that. Bring it down, bump it out in the middle. Go down and up. Little flick, little flick. Then just curve around the edge of that. Like so. So same on the other side, so curve, bring that down, little bump, down curve up. Flick, flick, down and around that edge. Like so. Now the eyebrows. One, two, neck, and then the uniform. If you get a bit stuck on what kind of clothes to put them in, just literally just Google someone from the kind of time period you're sort of thinking. Now, if you're thinking 1950s, just search for a 1950s gentleman. It's in a woman, 1950s woman. Gives you a good idea of the hairstyles and the clothes. Because that's very much what determines the look, to be honest. You know, as well as the face and the hair. You know, if you don't have the right clothing, it kind of won't match up as much. They've gone a little bit over there. Probably should have done that a little bit lower, but no worries. So just made a curve around there. A little kind of curve line, just a little wiggle that. Two little detail lines and the button. That's going to put nice circles in the eyes. And put the pupil in the middle of those eyes. And then I'm going to make a little light beam just on the one side. Just like that. And then I'm going to shade it in and it will come to life. Now what I'm going to do is grab a thinner pen. I'm just going to add certain little detail bits now. I mean, like in the hair. So, where you've got the moustache, I'm going to bring this curve down and just keep this repeating pattern coming across, like so. And then, same the other side. A little hint of cheekbone, just there and that. Now we've got the nose bit, it's going to bring in a faint line. Going up either side, nothing too major. A little flick just there and there. And then the hair. Now, to get the hair right, start in the centre. Now we're going to start at this curve here. And I can base the rest off of that curve. Sometimes you start this side, you might end up too much of a curve or too little. I'm going to slowly arch this as I go back. This is just the exact same shape, just repeating over and over. And as it comes this way, I want to curve more and more this way to show the curve in the hair. Now, I'm not too worried about this because I'm going to do a black bit here and this probably just fade down or might be solid. But if you want to, you can. I'll, no, I'll just do it so you can see it. I've done fade loss plenty of times in the past for you guys. So I'll show you something different. Just carry that gun down. And then this side, I'm going to have this brush back. So 
That's just going to go in that direction. A few little details. Just going to have this little seam in the collar, I think. It's actually just little dashes going across. I quite like the look of that. Little bun loops. Yeah, I think that does it for the line work. I'm just going to rub everything out, all the pencil. And I'm going to gray, make grays, and I think I might use some color in this one as well. You know, I usually do my thingy, black and gray. Yeah, I'm going to go color. I ain't done like a colour old school one in a while. Not for the face anyway. So I'm going to start faintly and I'm going to go increase some more. This is a Winsor Newton brush marker. You can use pencil, paints, pencils, all colours, whatever you want. And that's all the basic same principle. Just look where I'm shading and that's where you put your shading. Now you see the nose? It's going to bring a little shadow just above that nose. Following that same curve. Just like that. And then underneath, we're just going to create a dip like a very curved V shape. Now I'm going to darken certain bits of this, I'm just putting the initial first colour bits in, just so you guys know where to go. Just going to bring this curve here, and around this nose bit, I'm just going to bring this line up. I'm not however doing the nostril bits, so you see you leave those bits, otherwise you lose their shape. Bring that up. Gonna create a little archway just between the eyebrows. Just to show the shape in this part of the head. In between the eyes, I'm gonna have this coming up. And I'm gonna shade across here, so I'm gonna make this bit quite dark underneath the eyes. Just gonna flick this off of this line. Bring it up, so just leaving a little gap there. I'm just going to flick that out for a minute. Yes, yeah, so yeah, we come back to that. The top is going to be shaded in. This bit under here. It's going to be shaded in. The jawline. I'm going to come here. And when I get to this bit, I just want us to bump up a touch. Just to show the shape of this chin off. No, he's got an old school hard chin. Like so. And there will be shadow underneath, but I'll do more down a bit. This is just flicking this in the cheekbone. Underneath, not above. So you create that underneath shadow. You go above it, just look a bit weird. Just a hint. Just there. Nothing crazy. A little bit in the side of the ear, and a little bit just on the bottom. Like so. And then we go slightly darker. See, I'm going to slowly increase each sort of tone as I go along. And then what I do is I come back afterwards with a lighter shade to blend them out. If you're using a pencil, just use the same sort of technique. You know, if you're using water paints, you know, just keep adding water to dilute your colours down to get them lighter. You know. But don't be afraid to put that bit of shadow in there. You know, I've seen so many people they go under under shade, they go too light, just like with like, a very light pencil. You want at least one part of your picture to always be pitch black and one bit to be pure white. Now that way you get the full range of contrast that will make your picture stand out more. Very, very important. So you can see just slowly building these colours up. Quite 
dark brown. I'm going to come back in now and I'm going to get one of the, uh, one of my dark greys, if I can find them. Yeah. Start off with this one. Just to darken up some of the uh, shadow areas, like just here underneath the nose. I want it to be a bit more shadowed. Underneath this chin. Very important, this will separate from the top. And then you just come and be lighter turn around the edges. Top of the chin underneath the lip. And like I said, around the eyes, I'm going to build this up. A little bit inside the eye. So, then if we come back with this. You can slowly see it building up now. You start with your light colours and then you work in the darkers and then you use your lights to come back out and strengthen it up. Like so. What I'm going to do is get my black. It's going to put a layer. This hair just at the bottom, and then I'm going to do a layer at the top, just pure black. And I'm doing this to create that shine. And then what you do is just slowly, progressively blend it out. So I'm going to get like a dark grey now, just cut over that black, over that black at the top. Lighter grey, and then my lightest grey. And I want to try and leave a little white line just in the middle. Just fade down the side, and just here I'm gonna. Flip from this bit. I'm just going to fade out as I go down. You can just black these areas in, but this is so you get the effect of the pan coming through. Go to the top, you obviously don't get that. Get this. Bottom of the moustache, top of the moustache, bottom of the moustache, top of the moustache. Just blend that up. Do the flesh tune. Just put a little shadow just underneath this moustache. Just a hint of it. Just there and there. Add a lip. Do that. Usually recommend making the lips a little bit more rosy compared to the rest. So I'm going to do this and I'm just going to put a faint bit of red just over the top. I'm going to get my marker and I'm going to find my blender. It should be around here somewhere. Black. Got it. No, it's blue. What did I do with that blender? 
black, grey. Uh, in case you haven't realised, I don't tend to organise my pens. I just bundle them up and take them up. There we go, there. Get your blender, get that. You've probably seen me this before. Just hold your blender to the top. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just until you see the tip go white. Take it off. Just a little bit of paper first. See if it comes out solid. If not, just go over the top. And you'll see it'll be like very diluted down at first. And you just stop once you've got the colour you want. You see there, just a hint of that colour. Then I stop. Let's so find me lattice grey. It's a little shadow just on top of the eye. Just there. And just there. Yeah. You can have shadow underneath the eye if you want. You know, just like a little bit just here. You can go quite dark if you want, but it depends on how kind of menacing you want them to look. You know, and if you put too much, you can be look a bit like makeup. Which again depends on the kind of character you're making. So just flick that up. A little bit there. I'm just going to get my grey. I want the shirt to be white, so I'm just going to flick in a little bit of grey. No major. A little shadow just around the tie. His waistcoat black. Flick in the black and blend that up. I leave a little white edge just here so you can see the difference in the left side and the right side. So you see that line there, just that hint. Just blend that in. Like so. Colour to do the tie. What colour to do the tie? I'll give him a red tie. And it's not really classic old school, but I like red. Kind of reminds me of Hitman. Ta da. Red tie. He's a grassy green, go classic kind of old school. Now, I would normally do it black or something or that, but I want to add a little bit of colour to this. Now I've kept this one quite traditional. Normally if I'd done this I would probably cover the face in tattoos and stuff. You know, do my 13 somewhere in there or something like that. But yeah, that's the basics, that's how you do an old school gentleman. So I hope you like it. I hope you check out my videos. Like, subscribe, yada 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 yada. I'm the Rogan Puppet and I'll see you next time. Peace out.